Привіт-привіт, мої дорогі друзі. Мене звати Інна. My name is Інна. Welcome to my YouTube channel Speak Ukrainian. In today's video lesson, I'm going to teach you how to say in the Ukrainian language to learn, to study and to teach. So there are three words in English and there are six words in Ukrainian. So I will explain the difference between them and how to use them correctly. Before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and leave a comments about it. Ну що ж, почнімо! Let's get started! So guys, I miss you so much. I haven't recorded new video lessons for a while because I had a vacation. I had a three-week trip in Europe. I spent some time with my mom and I finally uh, saw my best friend from her son. Currently she lives in Germany, so I had some good time with them and now I am uh, back to England and I uh, start making video lessons for you, so please support me. Uh, and uh, uh, in London I uh, organize a Ukrainian speaking club once per month and there I meet my students. Um, my subscribers. Ryan, tell me, please, what is your favorite Ukrainian food? The Bosch is my favorite food. I can't go there because I really love Bosch and Bosch. Maybe the Bosch is with the potatoes. And one of my uh, students, Marinella, she asked me a question. Marinella, привіт. Ina, uh, what's the difference between вчити, вивчати, викладати, вчитися, навчати, навчатися? I explained her a little bit, but then I said, don't worry, I will record a video lesson about it and it will be useful for everybody, because many people mix it up. Sometimes I can mix them up and of course native speakers they uh, sometimes they uh, don't use this uh, words in the sentences correctly. So let me explain everything. So let's start with the вчити. Вчити we can translate as to learn and to teach. Yes, it has these two meanings. Uh, so how to know the difference? Of course, uh, when we use after it the genitive case, and if you want to say I teach students, we say Ya Chu Studentiv. Ya Chu Studentiv. Ya Chu. I teach, and you can see it is conjugated already for uh, first person I, Ya, Ya Chu, Studentiv. Uh, I teach students, so studentive, it's um, the genitive case. So if I want to say I teach students the Ukrainian language, then the Ukrainian language will be in the genitive case too. So я вчу студентів української мови. Студентів is in the genitive case and української мови is in the genitive case. Я вчу студентів української мови. I teach students the Ukrainian language. If you say I teach the Ukrainian language, я вчу української мови. But if you want to say I learn the Ukrainian language, then you use the same verb я вчу, but after it you use the accusative case. So я вчу українську мову. I learn Ukrainian. So let's repeat one more time. Я вчу української мови, genitive case, I teach the Ukrainian language. Я вчу українську мову, accusative case, I learn the Ukrainian language. So please remember and you can make some more examples. For example, я вчу англійської мови, I teach English. 
Я вчу англійську мову. I learn English. Вивчати. Uh, the next verb. Вивчати is translated as to learn. Only as to learn. So, я вивчаю математику. I learn math. So, you can see, again, we use accusative case. Я вивчаю, вивчати. I conjugated for first uh, singular uh, pronoun. Я, я вивчаю українську мову, англійську мову, математику, фізику, and so on. Don't forget to use the accusative case. Okay, the next one. Викладати. Викладати, it means to teach. And um, uh, let me explain you uh, the difference. You can say, okay, what is the difference between чити and викладати? Uh, so, в чити... Uh, you can uh, think, okay, вчити, вчити, it reminds me uh, like вчитель. Yes, вчитель. So, вчитель is a noun and it means a teacher or a tutor. Uh, it's вчитель if it's a teacher at school, so it will be вчитель. If it's a teacher at college, university, then it will be викладач, like professor or lecturer, uh, so буде викладач. But... Um, it won't be a mistake if you call a teacher at school викладач or if you call a teacher at university вчитель, it's okay, it's not a big deal. So викладати can be both as to teach at school or to teach at college, for example, викладати. But uh, викладати means only to teach and after it we use the accusative case, pay attention. Я викладаю українську мову. I teach Ukrainian language. Я викладаю хімію. I teach uh, chemistry. Uh, я викладаю, що може бути, літературу. I teach literature. And again, cases, cases, cases. Oh my God. Of course, I should advertise my amazing textbook. Just a moment. Let me turn a little bit. Uh, you know it, Master Ukrainian Cases. And here you will find uh, how uh, to form correctly the genitive case, the accusative case, and other cases. It's a very useful textbook. So please check it, check it out on my website, speakhere.com. You can buy it at the hardcover version or ebook. Okay, let's come back. Uh, and uh, we learned with you. Вчити, вивчати, викладати. And the next one is вчитися. Okay. I have a question. What's the difference between the first three ones and the last one? Hmm? Okay. Uh, the last one is the reflexive one because it has this reflexive ending ся. And вчитися... Uh, uh, we, tr we can translate as to study. When you say вчитися в університеті, вчитися у коледжі, наприклад, я вчуся в університеті імені Тараса Шевченка. I study at university named after Taras Shevchenko or Taras Shevchenko University. Так, наприклад. Uh, okay, uh, let's continue. The next one is навчати. Навчати is also to teach. Uh, наприклад, я навчаю uh, дитину, як грати у шахи. I teach a kid how to play chess. Я навчаю дитину, it's accusative case, як грати у шахи. How to play chess. Again, uh, вчити, uh, викладати, навчати, these through verbs uh, mean to teach and they are synonyms. Um, okay, and also uh, навчатися is the same like вчитися. Вчитися, навчатися, these two verbs are reflexive ones and they are translated as to study. So again, я навчаюся в університеті, я вчуся в університеті. It's uh, pretty the same. 
My dear friends, if you would like to learn Ukrainian language, I would like to invite you to my course from an absolute beginner to a confident speaker. It will be launched on August 28th, so please hurry up to join. Uh, and uh, I will be so happy to teach the beautiful Ukrainian language and uh, uh, to tell you all the secrets how to learn it uh, fast and effective. Uh, please check out my website speaker.com. There you will find very useful textbooks, flashcards. We have an app, Speak Ukrainian, on Play Market or App Store. Uh, please check out my Instagram account, Speak Ukrainian Language. Thank you for supporting my charity uh, store. Buy t shirt Save Ukrainian Life. Uh, thank you, my uh, patrons. I love you so much. Dzień dobry i Slava Ukrainie.